Welcome to day six of the Chakra Challenge. Today we're going to focus on the sixth chakra, the third eye, which is called Agnya in Sanskrit. Agnya means enhanced knowledge. And the sixth chakra does not have a physical element, but it is ruled by Mahat or cosmic consciousness. The third eye shines through the practice of meditation and the third eye is intimately connected to the physical structures of the pituitary gland, which is the band master of the endocrine system, as well as to the pineal gland. The third eye is the one eye that is above duality. It is the eye of oneness and unity. It is the eye that merges the opposites into one. It's the merging point of two into one. We want to focus on gathering our awareness to this area of enhanced knowledge and intuition inside ourselves. An integrated sixth chakra allows us to keep an open channel to our deep knowing and intuition. Someone with a balanced sixth chakra has access to their deep soul wisdom and can easily see through the illusion. The central issues of the sixth chakra are accurate interpretation, imagination, and intuition. It's important to own your six chakra rights. You have a right to see clearly. Our goal is to integrate the power of the six chakra into our awareness deep in the central core of the body for the purpose of complete embodiment. To support the integration of the sixth chakra, imagine the deep indigo blue color of the midnight sky in the area of the third eye. Perceive this all-encompassing indigo blue radiating out from the front, back, and sides of the third eye. Activate the color using your memory. Hold the memory of the midnight sky in the area of the third eye. Let this deep indigo blue radiate out from the sixth chakra in all directions until it fills up your entire body. Do this for three full breaths with a long, slow exhale through the nose to bring you back into rest, digest, and repair mode. Check back in to make sure you're sitting on the front of your sits bones and elongating the spine, lifting behind the ears to make sure your head is carried in alignment with your spine. To increase the resonance of the six chakra practices even further, let's add in the cosmic sound of Om. When saying Om, let the sound vibrate and nourish the third eye, softening the area in between the eyebrows as you continue to hold the deep indigo blue color in the area of the third eye. So let's do that once together before we move on to the mudra and then put them all together. Holding the indigo in the third eye, saying Om. Om. So now let's add in Wisdom Mudra, which is the gesture of intuitive knowledge, to increase the resonance of these six chakra practices. Touching the tips of the index fingers to the tips of the thumbs, straightening all the other fingers, and resting the backs of the palms on the thighs. This takes the breath deep into the lower lobes to help oxygenate, alkalize, and move your body into rest, digest, and repair mode. So let's do this for three breaths, making sure to focus on the long, slow exhale through the nose. Together, we hold the indigo midnight sky in the area of the third eye, having it radiate out, filling up the entire body, making the sound om, and then holding the wisdom mudra. Let's do this for three times together. Om. Oh. 
So at least once more today, do this practice and add it to the end of the sequence for the five preceding chakra practices. And be sure to look at the bottom of the email as it lists all the previous chakra details that will cue you through the practice. Remembering your job is to settle into your body and move towards a sense of relief as you embrace all that you are. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the seventh chakra, the crown chakra. Thank you.